Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to lecture 97. So, we have been doing the transfer maneuver in the non coplanar orbit. So, we will complete the problem what we have been doing. So, let us go and finish it. So, as usual the transfer orbit is lying here, okay. but because of the perigee location which is located at on the back side this is theta a equal to 12.06 degree. So, this velocity vector at this point in the transfer orbit it lies outside. So, where it is a line we can make that figure. So, velocity vector which is here now it is a going towards this direction, it is a going towards this corner. So, from the previous figure this is the point A and then the point D we have written here, D here we have written as E and F. So, this angle is your phi angle here in this case and phi is given to be 6.69 degree as we have got in the uh, last calculation. Okay. And uh, angle between this and this, this is 30 degree, okay, which is the inclination of the orbit your orbit is going to starting from this place and it is going like this and reaching to the point C. But the velocity at this point is along this direction as I have shown here. So, this is the velocity vector direction, this is your P in the transfer orbit. In the actual orbit this uh, which was the equatorial orbit. So, there at V A we can show this as V A in the equatorial orbit. So, this is different and this is different. So, if you look a projection in the this uh, here in this direction we have taken x in, in this case y and z here. So, projection in the x y plane we can write it. So, first of all we need to take the V A T, it is a component in the A, D, E and F that plane we have to take. So, V A T component in that plane will be given by cos phi, Multi this quantity multiplied by cos phi. So, if we look for the projection from look from the top, so this figure will appear like this look from the top, but perpendicular to this line, okay. perpendicular to this line if we look. Okay. That means, to the inclined plane if we look in the perpendicular manner, so your velocity vector will appear in this direction, this is the phi angle. 
V A transfer orbiter. So, immediately you can realize that along the this direction the x direction this will be V A t sin phi and along this direction this is V A t cos phi. So, now the situation runs down to the following condition. This is very important to realize where the velocity vector is lying. So, this component now I am showing along this direction. So, this is your the quantity uh, the vector is along lying like this. So, this is V a t cos phi and another vector it is a line V a t sin phi. So, you can realize that what will be the resultant obviously, the resultant will lie along this direction. Okay. So, this is V a t which is making with this this phi angle. So, what we need to do we now need to take component of this. So, uh, taking this plane okay, and along this direction then you have V a t cos phi and this is 30 degree. So, this becomes V a t cos phi times cos 30 degree and this component that means, the component along this direction this component along this direction will appear like this this is V a t cos phi times sin 30 degree and while this is cos 30 degree. So, this one corresponds to this particular one okay, toward this direction. Okay, so, this way you know along the three direction how much impulse is required and once we uh, the uh, what will be the final velocity along the this three axis. So, once we know this the impulse can be calculated. Okay, so, it is a uh, this problem is complicated by not by the concept, but rather by the calculation that you have to compute so much. Therefore, V a t sin phi V a t sin phi this will be along the y direction okay. and along the x direction we have V a t x direction is uh, no uh, Dt, this is the uh, direction x direction we have taken this is phi this direction we have taken as x this is x and the upside it is going as um, uh, this is in the inclined plane. So, this is cor corresponding to the inclined plane this is corresponding to inclined plane, but this is along the x direction. Okay. So, therefore, we should write here x rather than y and along the x direction this is along the y direction and this is along the z direction. So, y direction is V a t cos phi cos 30 degree V a t cos phi cos 30 degree this is along the y direction and similarly z V a t cos phi times sin 30 degree and this values the phi we know the, this is 6.69 degree. So, we insert this and we can get all these values. So, this turns out to be 11 V a t this quantity we need to uh, obviously work it out. 
till now we have not written it. So, we will do that calculation first V A T in the transfer orbit this will be eccentricity of the transfer orbit. We can apply this equation already we have done this the final calculation we have, but still we can uh, calculate again V A in the transfer orbit r square divided by mu equal to 1 plus 2 e cos theta 0 plus e a square divided by 1 plus e cos theta 0. And all these values we have already used it to compute. So, the final value we have computed somewhere this quantity. Okay. So, if we reorganize it, so V a will be 2.24936 into mu divided by r a under root. Okay, so, this is whatever we have written here. So, it comes from that place. So, since instead of wasting time, we can simply write here V a t in the transfer orbit. This will be 2.24936 into 3986000. This is mu and r 6378 under root 11.856483 kilometer per second. So, V a is known once V a is known, so this can be computed. So, this becomes 11.856483 sin 6.69 degree. Similarly, this quantity cos 6.69 degree into cos 30 degree this turns out to be 10.196474 kilometer per second. So, remember this is along the y direction and along the z direction then we have sin 6 point sorry this is uh, this is cos 6.69 degree times sin 30 degree. So, this quantity turns out to be 5.886937 kilometers per second. So, these are the three components, uh, these are the components of the velocity along the x, y and z direction at the point A. So, these are components of velocity along x, y, z direction in the transfer orbit. Once we have done this, we need the velocity in the equatorial elliptic orbit. So, velocity at a a in the equatorial equatorial elliptic orbit. We can utilize the same equation to compute this only thing this will be in the equatorial orbit. And for the equatorial orbit we apply the same formula to e cos theta 0 e a square 1 plus e cos theta 0. Here in this case cos theta 0 this equal to 1 because as per our previous problem if you remember the point A is the perigee point of the transfer orbit. 
perigee point of the original orbit. So, A is the perigee point of the original equatorial orbit. An eccentricity now at this stage you can assume anything because this has not been uh, used if anywhere. So, let us assume this to be e equal to 0 0.4 ok anything you can take because this is a problem. So, anything we can consider. So, e equal to 0 0.4 if we consider this value then the r a v a square r a v a square divided by mu earth in the equatorial orbit this will be 1 plus 2 e plus e a square divided by 1 plus e. So, this gets reduced to 1 plus e equal to 1.4 and therefore, v a in the equatorial orbit will be 1.4 r a is 6378 kilometers uh, it will come in the denominator 6378 and mu e it will go in the numerator which is 3986 and take the under root of this. So, v a turns out to be this is 9.35385 and what this quantity is nothing but v a in the equatorial orbit along y direction. Now, you can understand that uh, in the equatorial orbit at this point this is the point a in the original or elliptical orbit. So, this is the perigee for a point for the original orbit and it may look something like this. So, this is your equatorial orbit. and because this is the perigee point and this angle is measured from perigee for the transfer orbit this was different this was not 0 remember theta 0 equal to 0 here in this case 0 degree. In the case of transfer orbit we assumed it okay. and whatever we are assuming this this is a this is given basically it is a given the so, your orbit this orbit is known to you in this orbit it is a moving and from there then you have to transfer to the polar orbit you have to take it from this place to this. This is the point to which your orbit has to reach. So, along this direction the velocity v a in the equatorial orbit which is the y direction here in this case and we have taken x along this direction. So, this turns out to be 9.35385 kilometer per second. So, we can immediately see that the impulse required along different direction v at a along the x direction delta v a along the y direction and delta v a along the z direction we can compute from all the information that we have gathered. So, delta v a along the y direction what will be first we have to go back and look into what was the value corresponding value here. So, along the y direction this is 10.1964 10.1964 10.196474 kilometer per second and in this orbit how much this is actually along the y direction. So, this is 9.35 385 kilometer per second. So, if we subtract we will get the corresponding result this turns out to be 0 0.84262 kilometer per second. So, that means, uh, this value is 842.62 
meter per second this much of impulse delta v along the y direction we need to give along the x direction because there was no initial velocity along the x direction. So, that remains whatever we have calculated earlier which is 1.38199 kilometer per second means 1381.99 meter per second. And uh, along the z direction also we have calculated which was 5.8 eight eight six nine three seven kilometer per second okay because there is no velocity in the original orbit along the jet direction so this is the impulse required so this becomes five eight eight six point nine three seven meter per second so these are the impulse required along the three directions so this completes this problem and we have looked at how uh, this uh, the complete process takes place. Okay. So, our co planar maneuver this part is over and uh, yes, uh, the non co planar maneuver we have finished it. So, here in this while solving this problem sometimes you may require propagation of the orbit. Okay. So, uh, this thing I have not covered. So, quickly I will try to cover that and uh, maybe if, uh, I will consider that as a next lecture. So, thank you very much in the next lecture I will record that. Thank you.